to be with you guys today on this communion Sunday. Oh my gosh, I'm super, super excited. Hi to our online family. We love you. We miss you. We're praying for you. And I'm so glad you could be with us today. Please stand as we worship the Lord.
One, for being here. Two, that he allows us to worship him. And three, for the cool weather. Come on, somebody. I mean, I am so thankful. I don't have to be sweaty up here. Uh, but hey, uh, thank you for joining us in person and online. And I believe that God has a word for us today. That God wants to share something. That God wants to meet us right where we're at and to encourage us to do everything that he's called us to do, man. The world needs us. The world needs us. It's desperate for people that know their God to come into their situations and remind them that they're not alone. That remind them that the things that they see on the news doesn't have to be true in their life. That reminds them that, that this election does not get to determine their future. That there is still a king that sits on the throne. Come on, there is still a name that is above every name. There is still a name that's going to make every knee bow when time comes. Man, may we, may we be the people that this world so desperately, desperately needs. And how do we do that? We do it by being with our Father by lifting our hands in worship, by spending time with him and reminding ourselves, I am not just this bone and flesh. No, I am a child or I'm a daughter or I'm a son of God. And I have, I have a call on my life. Babe, can you also greet us as well? Yeah, well, I don't know about you guys, but just like the song say, uh, said, I'm so glad that we serve a miracle working God because I don't know about you, but there have been things in my life that have been unexplainable other than this is a miracle from God why this happened, why God came through, I don't know. All I know is that he told me that he loves me, and I know that he loves you, and I know that I don't know what it is in the air. I don't know what it is about today. I don't know if it's because it's because it's communion Sunday. I don't know what it is, but today feels special. Today feels like God wants to speak to you. Today feels like God wants to speak to me. Today feels like the thing that you've been waiting for, the miracle that you've been expecting is on its way. It feels like it's here. It feels like it's here. And I don't know if if, if, if you need to see it to believe it, but let me tell you something. Faith, uh, The Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. So let's take hold of it. Whether you see it or not, take hold of it. Receive it. Say, God, I thank you for whatever it is that you need and accept it, receive it as though you already have it, as though it's already here. Well, that's not like a typical greeting, but uh, I'm just excited to be in church this morning. Uh, but like we always do, and I, I mean, I feel like we don't even have to invite God again, but he's already here, but let's just do it anyway. Just say more, God. We want more of who you are. So Lord, I'm going to pray. You go ahead and pray right along with me. Lord, we, we love you. God, we, we, we enter into your presence with thanksgiving, thanking you for being with us, thanking you for uh, not just shunning away from us because of, the, the, because of our lives, because of our sin, because of our circumstances. But God, I thank you for being excited to be with your people, for, for being uh, looking forward to being with your people. God, we love you. We know that you're here. We feel your presence. We know that wherever two or three are gathered, there you are in our midst. And we're a few more than two or three. So we thank you for being here with us, God. God, we thank you for being the God who never fails. Thank you for being the God who is faithful. Thank you for being the God who does what he says he will do. Thank you for being the God who sees us. Thank you. I don't know who needs to hear this, but God sees you. You are not overlooked this morning. You've never been overlooked. God sees you this morning. Lord, we thank you for being the God who sees us. Lord, we ask that you would receive the worship that is due your name this morning. You alone are worthy, God. You alone are worthy. We can, uh, we're going to continue to worship you, Lord. We ask that it would be a sweet, sweet smelling aroma to you this morning. We pray this in Jesus' name.
Jesus Christ. At the name of Jesus Christ, every tongue will confess, every knee will bow because he is King of Kings. He is Lord of Lords. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ. You're not hearing me yet. You're not hearing me on that TV screen. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ. Today, September 27, 2020, what a powerful name it is this day, the name of Jesus Christ. What a powerful name it is, Jesus' name today to heal your body, to restore your family, to 
heal those things on the inside that you need to be healed of, to destroy depression in your life, to destroy anxiety in your life. You need to wake up for a minute. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ. You need to be happy today. Today's your day of a miracle. The thing you've been waiting for, today is the day your miracle comes to pass. Today is the day your body gets healed. For those of you who aren't here live, I need you to get your communion elements because when we take communion today, something's changing. When we take communion today, somebody's body's getting healed today. If it's you, you better start shouting right now. Today is your day of miracles. Today is the day you've been waiting for. Today is the day that your answer comes. The thing you've been waiting weeks for, months for, years for. Today is that day. Because of Jesus Christ. Who believes me right now? Raise your hand in Jesus' name. You can't have a miracle you won't believe for. I've never seen an accidental miracle in my life. I've never seen God heal somebody on accident. I've never seen God set somebody free on accident. Today's your day. Even if you don't believe it, I'll believe it for you. Today's your day. The Lord is here today for healing. The Lord is here today for restoration. The Lord is here today. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be set free. That lie that you've been hearing, that thing that you've been struggling with, you're set free today. Receive it in Jesus' name. Those of you on the TV screen, God's touching you right now. That part of your body that you needed healing in, grab that part right now and say, in Jesus' name, I command my healing. Those of you who are battling depression or anxiety and issues in your life, say this, say, in Jesus' name, get out of my mind right now. In Jesus' name, get out of my thoughts right now. His name is so powerful that any believer who speaks out his name and the authority that he's given them will be healed, be healed today. I love this about Jesus, that he always shows up. Can we just pray in the spirit for a moment? Can we just cry out in the spirit for a moment? If you have a spiritual language, feel free to cry out in that language right now in the name of Jesus Christ. intercede for that person that's lost in your family, that's broken and alone in your family. Intercede for them right now. More of your presence, Lord. More of your presence, Lord. presence of the Lord come into your home right now. More of your presence, Lord. What a powerful name you have, Jesus. The name above all names. What a powerful name you have but even more so the power that's inside you. Thank you, Lord. You are God and there's none like you. Everything will bow at your name. Bring your healing power, Lord. More of 
your presence, Lord. More of your peace, Lord. More healing, Lord. Test out your body and see if you're not healed right now. this in 1 Corinthians 11, starting in verse 24, in talking about Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross, but really talking about the promise he made before he left. Paul says this, that on the night that he was betrayed, the night Jesus was betrayed, it says this, that he took bread. He gave thanks to God and he broke it. And he told the disciples this, this is my body which is broken for you. Take, eat, do this in remembrance of me. And because we're believers in Jesus Christ, we understand that what he did was he died on the cross for us. But what we don't focus on sometimes that we need to focus on today, this day of miracles is this. His body was broken for our sins, but it was broken for our healing. His job description in Isaiah and that, and that Peter quoted as well was this, that by his stripes you are healed in Jesus' name. He wasn't just dying for our sins and our salvation, although he was doing that for sure. But the word says that he was broken, right? By his stripes, we are healed. You need to understand something. It's, it's not a metaphor. It's a spiritual truth. By his stripes, he paid the price for your physical body being healed. Somebody needs to get happy right now because you've already received the gift of healing because he's paid the price. Now you just need to reach out for it and allow it to manifest in your body. Faith in a nutshell is this. I believe what you said happened, happened, and I'm going to receive it as if it did. If you're in the TV audience, if you're watching on YouTube, you need to know this. He paid a price for your salvation, but he paid a price for your healing. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to measure up. I dare say you don't even have to go to the doctor. You just need to receive your miracle today. September 27th, 2020. Remember the date. It's the date that everything changed in your life. When God showed up, manifestly showed himself to be real, and your whole life was changed. This is that day. You are that person. Receive from him what he has for you today. I love salvation. I never shortchange that for anything else. But I believe strongly on the inside of me that God needs us to know right now today that your healing is waiting for you to just know it's right there in front of you. Your healing is waiting for you to show up and receive it, to understand it from the inside of who you are. He said, this is my body broken for you. He paid the price for salvation. He also paid the price for healing. Not my words, his. As we take this bread, this body, receive your healing. And listen to me right now. Receive your healing. Don't work it up. Don't try and measure up. Simply do this for me. Receive your healing. As you take it, take it with these words on your lips. I receive the healing you've promised, you paid for, and you gave. I receive the healing you promised, you paid for, and you gave. And feel God show up. Let's take the element together. 
Lord God, I will not add to your word, but I refuse to take anything away. If you said it, it happens, and it's happening right now. It's happening right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring your healing into your children's life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those scratches on his legs, heal them in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Even those bones that are out of joint, heal them right now. That lower back, the back pain, those vertebrae that are herniated, heal them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those migraines that continue to show up at the most awkward times, heal that in the name of Jesus Christ. Even that issue with their eyesight, heal that in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Even that plantar fasciitis, heal that in the name of Jesus. Even those ulcers, heal those in the name of Jesus Christ. I love that you paid the price for all of it, all at once. Heal your children in Jesus' name. Let me steward you in this just for one moment longer. Here's what I need you to do. Here's what I request for you to do. Thank God right now for your healing. Interesting, as he broke the bread, the thing he did before he demonstrated what was going to happen was he thanked God. What's interesting about it is it's the same thing he did when he fed the 5,000. He thanked God first for what he was doing. Then he saw it manifest in breaking the bread and seeing 5,000 healed. There's a spiritual truth in that. What I thank him for, he manifests. Thank him for what he's already done in Jesus' name. I'm not saying don't act like you have symptoms. That's just foolish. What I'm saying is trust him in his word and speak it out and see it come to pass. Paul in 1 Corinthians 11, I believe it's verse 25, goes on and, and recites what he learned that Jesus did at what's called the Last Supper. He said that in the same manner, Jesus took the cup and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink in remembrance of me. So in, for in so doing, you remember his death until he comes again. Every drop of blood that was spilled, every wound that was bleeding, the hole in his side where he was speared at the end, every part, every portion, the, the blood that dripped down on his forehead from the crown of thorns, from the wounds in his hands and his feet because he was nailed to the cross, every drop of blood was bled for you. It says about that that we are washed white as snow. Which means that we are restored, we're renewed, we're made new. That's absolutely the truth of salvation. But it is absolutely his desire for you. Not just salvation, but healing. That you are renewed, made new again that once was broken and hurting is now healed and made whole. And as we take this element together, can we receive the fullness of the gift, every part and every portion? All of him for all of us. Let us take together.
Thank you, Jesus, for the multitude of works that were done on the cross, for the restoration of relationship with God, our Father, for the healing of our wounds, of our illnesses and our diseases. Your word and psalm says that you forgive us of all our sins and you heal all of our diseases. You forgive us of our sins and you heal all of our diseases. There is no disease with a name greater than the name of Jesus Christ. There is no physical condition greater than the name of Jesus Christ and your ability to heal it. We've been lied to. The catfish gospel on healing says that it's no more. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You're healing today. You're healing right now. You're healing in this service with your children. Have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit, as our pastor comes and we move on with more service. You are healing your children. Have your way. with all that we need and have. We praise you. We honor you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I just need you to do something. I just need you to not step out of this moment, not step away from this truth in your life. Sometimes we love the comfortable Jesus, right? The thing that I know and I understand and that happens, he never asks us to be comfortable. He asks us to believe. Don't step out of this moment back into the ordinary. Don't get catfished out of a miracle. Allow him to show up in the way that he desires and he demands. He paid a price for you, your salvation and your healing. Amen. He paid a price for you, for your salvation and for your healing. Amen. He paid a price for you, for your salvation and your healing. Amen. Receive what he has for you today. My name is Mark. I'm the associate pastor here at the Bridge Church, and I am so glad that you're here, whether you're online or in person. We love having church together, and we are glad that you're here with us. I have a few announcements, and I actually have so many that I need to pull out my phone to remember all of them. The first one is the easiest one. Because we're a church that believes that we find family when we find church, I want us to do this. Can we greet each other? Can we say hello to Silas right now? Can everybody say hi, Silas? Come on, wave at him. Wave at Silas. Let him know you care. And now that your arm is all warmed up, can you wave at each other as well and welcome everybody to church, the last church service of September 2020. Come on. Somebody should be happy. Hey, and while you're here, and those of you who are online, you can still stay connected. We actually have a digital connect card on our website, which is thebridgebp.com forward slash church. If you go out there, you can sign in on our digital connect card. Why would you want to do that? Because we want to know you're here because you're family, but also because we have a free gift. We have a free gift for everybody who goes out there and fills out that card. So fill that out and submit it. And it, uh, it is a small gift. You're not going to win a car, but there'll definitely be a gift for you out there. I don't want to rush through this quickly, but because we have more service to do, I want to do tithes and offerings and just understand this. What he paid for, we also pay back, and that we do with our tithes and our offerings and with our lives. So you can give online or you can give through our app or you can give in person here seeing Miss Susan for an offering envelope. But however you give, know this, we're giving back to one who's given us more than we could ever understand. Let me pray over the tithes and offerings. Father, I just thank you for this, that you are God and you are worthy of everything. You're worthy of all of our lives and all that we